today let's continue with journals and ledgers and uh, i'll take up a question on uh, uh, banking transactions in our last session we saw the journal entries uh, for all the banking transactions so let's take a small example on that i'll put down the question here let's say paid into bank for opening an account 25000 withdrawn from bank so this uh, 5000 and then let's say withdrawn from bank for personal use rupees uh, uh, 7000 january 10th deposited cash 10000 and then uh, placed an amount of rupees uh, 12000 in fixed deposit the money was uh let's put it this way the fixed deposit money was transferred from the account that is the account that has been opened right then january 25th purchased goods worth rupees 2500 and amount paid by check right january 27th received a check of rupees 5000 from a debtor and we say january 30th check of rupees 5000 received from the debtor dishonored right okay now these are the transactions now we are going to make the journal entries for these transactions let's start with the first one paid into bank for opening an account rupees 25000 so when we open a bank account the entry is bank account debit to cash account you are opening a bank account this will be the entry we say this is 25000 here and this is 25000 here so being cash deposited to open an account right okay now let's come to the second entry it says withdrawn from bank rupees 5000 so when you withdraw from bank you are withdrawing cash from bank right so you will have cash account debit and you are withdrawing from the bank bank is giving the money so the credit the giver always remember that bank is a personal account so the rule of debit the receiver credit the giver will apply to banks right and cash is a real account right 5000 and 5000 right so here we'll write being cash withdrawn from bank right now the third entry january 4th withdrawn from bank for personal use now withdrawn from bank for personal use uh basically when you have this personal use or private use whatever is given there it uh, is drawings account 
right so here you are withdrawing for per personal use means it is drawings account will be debited right and then to bank account here uh, let me put it this way yeah withdrawn from bank for personal use correct right so to bank account so the amount that has been given here is 7000 rupees so drawings account to bank account 7000 rupees right so being um, money withdrawn from bank for personal use right now after this now let's see what the fourth transaction is we say deposited cash into bank right deposited cash into bank 10000 rupees so when you deposit cash into bank it's basically the amount in the bank is increasing bank is receiving the money and you are depositing cash means cash is going out of your hands right so bank account debit to cash account uh, the amount was 10000 rupees here so here i'll put bank account debit 10000 to cash account 10000 right and the narration being cash deposited into bank right fine now the next one next transaction is this placed an amount of rupees 12000 in fixed deposit the fixed deposit money was transferred from the account right so here uh when you open a fixed deposit a new account called fixed deposit account will get created right so here i'll write fixed deposit account debit and the money is going from your account so that is to bank account fine whatever money is lying there in your bank account from that money that money you have transferred to your fd fixed deposit right so this one amount of 12000 is going from your bank so bank account will be credited here and fixed deposit is getting created so that is 12000 like this right okay hmm. being fd created by transferring an amount of rupees 12000 from current account for individuals it is savings account for savings bank account and uh, when a company opens a account it is normally a current account that they open right uh here next one purchase goods worth rupees 2500 and amount paid by check right we are purchasing the goods and we are paying the amount by check right so instead of cash it is bank so we write purchases account debit to bank account right the uh, amount of purchase was 2500 so here 2500 right so being goods purchased being goods purchased uh and paid by amount paid by check amount paid by check right okay now let's look at the next transaction received a check of rupees 5000 from a debtor so received a check of rupees 5000 from a debtor you are receiving money but you are receiving it in the form of a check so i'll have bank account debit to the debtor account the person who is giving credit the giver right so the amount let's see what was the amount there it was 5000 rupees right so here i have bank account debit 5000 to debtor account 5000 right so here being a check received from debtor right okay now let's look at this the next one here you have um check of rupees 5000 received from the debtor dishonored right now this entry this january 27th transaction it says received a check of rupees 5000 from a debtor and january 30th it says 
check of rupees 5000 received from the debtor dishonored so this was the entry wherein you had put bank account to debtor account this was the entry for receiving the check from the debtor now when the check is dishonored you will just pass a reverse entry of this debtor account debit to bank account right so this is the same amount 5000 and 5000 right so being check received from debtor dishonored okay so these are the journal entries that we have passed for these transactions um, now We will take up um, some more journal entries in our next session, where we will take up some new journal entries and uh, we will be doing um, illustrations based on them. So, with that I would end this session on uh, banking transactions. Bye.